The following podcast was recorded on Tuesday, May 10th, 2022, featuring Jim Bianco of Bianco Research. To hear the podcast in real time, you can sign up for a free trial at biancoresearch.com or arborresearch.com or by emailing Gus Handler directly at gus.handler at arborresearch.com. You can also call Arbor Research and Trading at 1-800-606-1872. Thanks for your time and enjoy the podcast. Welcome everyone to the latest edition of Talking Data. I'm your host, Kristen Radish with Arbor Research and Trading, joined today by our presenter, Jim Bianco of Bianco Research. Welcome, Jim. Thanks for having me. Today, Jim's going to give us an update on what the yield curve is telling us. Jim, can you start us off today by defining the four states of the yield curve? So when you talk about the yield curve, there's whether or not interest rates are going up or down, and that's referred to in terms of price. So bull means that, you know, interest rates are falling and bear means that interest rates are rising. And then there's the shape of the yield curve, whether it is steepening or flattening. So you've got four states then. You've got the bull flattener, that is falling interest rates, and a flattening yield curve. So what that would mean is that 10-year yields are coming down faster than two-year yields in a falling rate environment. You've got the bull steepener, falling interest rates, but short rates are falling faster than long rates and the yield curve is steepening. You've got the bear flattener. That means rising interest rates, but short rates are going up uh, faster than long rates. And you've got the bear steepener. Uh, That's rising interest rates, and um, you know that uh, 10-year yields are going up faster than two-year yields. Each one of them, I think, has its own specific economic environment that would cause them to happen. And which one you have tells you a lot about the environment we're in. So which state are we in now and what does it mean? So if you look at the chart of the yield curve here, uh, I think that we are in a, uh, we are in a bear steepener. So if you look at the top chart, what I mean by bear steepener, you know, you might look at the chart and go, I'm talking about since April 1st. April 1st, the yield curve inverted. Since then, it, un- it only inverted for about two or three days. Since then, it uninverted, and now it's widened all the way out to yesterday, 48 basis points. So it's been steepening in a rising rate environment, so a bear steepener. So what does that mean? In this environment, and this doesn't apply all the time that you can write it in a textbook and say this applies in all these periods, but when you're in a period of worrying about inflation, rising rates, the bear part means the market is still not sure about the inflation in in the system. That's why interest rates are rising. So there's a doubt about that. We've seen the, the, the worst of inflation. Let me define the worst of inflation. It doesn't mean we haven't seen the peak. We might have seen the peak of inflation. We're recording this the day before the CPI. It's probably going to come in lower, and we're probably going to see a decline in year over year. And it's possible that the March number at 8.5% year over year inflation might be the peak. But it's got to fall enough off that peak to get the market satisfied that inflation is no longer a concern. Rising rates, the bear part, suggests no. The steepening part tells you who's in charge. If you, had, uh, if you had a flattening, which is short rates rising faster than long rates, the market is pricing in more and more aggressive Fed policy. We have inflation bear flattening. We have the Fed responding aggressively to it. But we're in a bear steepening environment. We have inflation and we're worried about it, but we're not sure the Fed's going to respond to it. I don't want anything to do with long-term interest rates. If we're in an inflationary environment, Fed's not responding to it, so that long rates are going up faster, and that's why you're seeing the steepening part. So the bear steepener is, in my mind, a vote of no confidence because inflation is still going to be problematic, and we're not sure the Fed's got a handle on it, which is why we're seeing long rates go up. Jim, can you take a moment to talk about the Fed's message? It's been inconsistent and mixed. Yeah, so this is part of the problem. If you go to the last slide, this is the opening paragraph of Jay Powell's press conference last week. I would go, before I, I'm going to read from it, before I go into detail of today's meeting, 
I would like to take this opportunity to speak to directly to the American people. We, uh, inflation is much too high and we understand the hardship this is causing. We are moving expeditiously to bring it back down. We have both the tools we need and the resolve it will take to restore price stability on behalf of American families and businesses. Wow, that's pretty hawkish. I'm gonna to talk to you directly. I've got the tools and the resolve. I am going to crush inflation. All right, so why aren't we flattening on the yield curve with 10-year yields going up? Because 10 minutes later, he said 75 basis points is off the table. Jay, you don't have to raise 75. But by limiting yourself, you're suggesting you're not very serious about this. When you get then the raft of Fed speeches that we got afterwards, Bullard and Wallard, the saying that the Fed is not behind the curve because the stock market is going down and interest rates are going up. That means the Fed is not behind the inflation curve. Oh, so I suppose if you were behind the inflation curve, that would mean interest rates would fall and we'd make new highs in stocks. That's absurd. Of course, the market's telling you you're behind the, the you're behind the curve. Uh, you know, you get Neil Kashkari saying that maybe we only need to go to two percent. You get Raphael Bostic of the Atlanta Fed saying maybe we're only going to raise rates two times and then pause to see what happens. You get Tom Barkin of the at Richmond Fed saying maybe seventy five should be on the table in the other direction. So what you leave everybody with is this idea that they're not serious about inflation or they're muddled about inflation and the marketplace gets nervous, rates are going up, we have an inflation problem, but yet we're unsure the Fed has really got the resolve to deal with this problem. So I don't wanna to touch long bonds and that's why we've got the steepening of the yield curve. That has been the message for the last five or six weeks in the market with the steepening of the yield curve. Now, if that changes, we have a bullish trend in the market and rates fall or the curve starts to flatten or something, then that would signal that the market has changed its opinion. But right now, what this bear steepener is telling us in the phases of the market is a vote of no confidence on the Fed. So when Mohammed al Arian and others say, the Fed has a credibility problem, I agree. And I think that's the message from the market. They have a credibility problem. How do they get past this credibility problem? Is that either A, there is a gigantic miss on inflation report this week, and we could start talking about a true peak and major significant decline in inflation, or B, if there isn't, the Fed has to make noise that, look, if we have to go 75, we'll go 75. And if we have to go 75 again, we'll go 75. And we're going to be very aggressive to try and deal with this because I talked to the American public directly and told them I would. It doesn't mean you have to, but just by being credible might be all it is. But right now, the market is unsure about their resolve. Well, thank you for your thoughts today, Jim. We appreciate it. Thank you everyone for joining us. We are client driven. If you have any questions or feedback on future topics, please let us know. For any information on Arbor Research, Bianco Research, and Arbor Data Science, please contact Gus Handler at gus.handler at arborresearch.com. Thanks everyone and have a great day.